Hey guys, uh, today is the first episode of the Indie Game Show of 2016, and I think that is pretty cool. I think that's a good, uh, pretty big, pretty big deal, so uh, just for today, I'm going to play, I'm going to play a song that I wrote for the Indie Game Show, okay? Ready? Yeah, I got this ocarina here. I'm going to use... <laughs> We're going to be looking at a game called Zombie Party. This is my first official, like, review style video. And it's not really going to be, like, like the traditional reviews where it's, like, edited with a bunch of commentary. And, like, this is all my commentary. Um, I thought about this. I just got done, like, refreshing myself with the game. Because um, I recorded some footage. But then a big update came out. Uh, so I was like, well, oh well, I'll just re re-record it. And um, they actually, I'm glad I did because they actually fixed a lot of the problems that I had. Not that there was a lot of problems, but a lot of the few problems that I had with this game. So uh, here we go. Here's the options menu. I felt like I should put this in here. I don't know if you care to know about the options. Here you go. Here it is. Uh, one thing I have to say about it. Actually, two things. Uh, one... The sound effects and m music volume slide volume controls are not sliders; they're like numbers. And t personally, I don't really. I mean, that didn't really affect me much. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why you need to know that. But here you go. Second thing is actually something I feel like is legitimate. So the blood uh, there's a blood option. So if you, I mean, I guess it it's supposed to turn off the blood in the game and. This is pixel art style, so the blood is just like red squares that fly around. It's not really that much, but I turned it to zero, and it still happens sometimes for some reason. So that's probably just a bug that I hope they fix. We have adventure mode, dungeon mode, arcade, and deathmatch. So for adventure mode, um, it's kind of got a little bit of a story. Uh, not, I don't think it's got that deep of a story though. It's, I, which is probably going to be, they're probably going to add something. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Right now, how it is, I think it's good. Um, you start out in an area and then you go through a few waves of like zombies coming at you. There's a shop, you get coins, you spend money on weapons and there's like a ton of weapons. Like, well, I guess there's six main weapons that you can buy it's kind of like upgrades, but uh, for example, the grenade launcher, there's an upgrade for that, which makes it, instead of shooting a grenade launcher, you're just throwing Molotov cocktails, but it's still under the same category, and it still uh, handles the same, so I think that's a pretty inventive way of uh, adding variety to guns, because it's still the same guns, but like it's slightly different. I think the pistol had a variation that was like throwing little axes. <laughs> I thought that was pretty cool. So yeah, there's waves, there's a bosses, and then there's a final boss at the end. You go through a teleporter after you beat the boss, and you go to a new world. Dungeon mode. Uh, that that mode, originally, like, before I updated the game, it was kind of basic. Because it, it was just like the same uh, layout. And it, it was just like this, felt like just this empty room. Uh, there's like chests and stuff. It's procedurally generated. There's monsters that come at you and you try to, there's shops, you can get weapons, you go up, you get coins, uh, coins you can spend in the shops on weapons, go up, up and down the stairs. I guess there's bosses in it. I didn't get, I didn't never found a boss and they're still updating it. This game's an alpha, by the way. It's uh, early access on Steam. Now that that might be like oh it's early access it means it's not good no no it doesn't this game is really good it's really fun if they stopped updating it or if they just like stopped adding content and they just made stuff like optimized it and they stopped production it would still be a great use of your money like it's super that's a lot of hours of enjoyment are to be had out of here there's arcade mode it's kind of like how survival mode is in adventure mode but it's doesn't have like a story uh 
and it's just like old fashioned run around, shoot some zombies, you know. So then there's deathmatch mode also. Deathmatch mode would probably be really fun to do with other people. Unfortunately, I did not have anybody to do it with, do the uh, the deathmatch mode with. But uh, there's some pretty good AI on here. Uh, it's so insane that like just just play the I'm gonna play the video and the the audio just so you can hear it. Here you go. Yeah, that's that mode is really cool. You can like blow up barrels and it'll like if you blow up a barrel near a wall, it'll explode the wall and expand your little room cuz you start in a in a small room and then if you blow up barrels near the walls, then it expands the like the playing field and it's just makes it bigger and bigger and bigger. And usually it like triples in size or something like that. I mean, when I've played it at least it's crazy. It's really fun. This is what it feels like to be in a Michael Bay movie, probably. You know, it. I don't even know what to say. Just look at it. It's just all the time, just explosions everywhere. It's great. Uh, one thing I do have to say, though, is sometimes it kind of felt like uh, if you walked in a circle around your enemies and just shot explosions over and over at them, that it wasn't really... Like, it kind of felt like you weren't really contributing to anything. It wasn't based on any of your abilities. It was just based on your gun shooting over how fast your gun can shoot. Which, I don't know if that's a downside or an upside. I think I still think it's really fun. Like, the combat is pretty fun still. And it's, like, really satisfying whenever you just blow up an entire horde of zombies. With, like, with one grenade. It's crazy. So, overall... By the way, I think any of these modes can be played with up to four players locally. Uh, yes, it can. Yep. All all these modes can play up to four players locally, like sitting at your house doing this. With just with AI, it's nuts. Imagine with like a group of your friends throwing Cheetos all over the computer screen because of the huge explosions. Uh, so... My verdict is, I would give it uh, 9 Michael Bays out of 10. Uh, I'd like to thank Blackshell Media for hooking me up with a copy of this game. Hey, uh, you know, if, if you got any more uh, games that you're advertising for your, for your uh, clients there, you know who to call. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out. Uh, the link in the description where you can buy this game. Only $8. That's a good deal. Uh, so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time on the Indie Game Show. Oh, yeah. If you want to submit your games or you know who, someone who has a game to submit, just look at the link in the description. Find the video. Send the video to them. Use the video. Whatever. Okay. Bye, guys.